Back here for the Outer Banks here. Another day here for Summit Beast as I'll be sharing a tour here to take a look from this wild horse adventure. It's amazing to check out these horses up here from the land and also the lighthouse as well as we get close by right in between our beach tours. So how about you and I dive into a tour and check it out. It is officially 80 degrees here in Corolla of N NC of North Carolina. This time, I am right here at uh, Corolla, North Carolina, right over here. This town looks pretty amazed. 80 degrees, a little, little bit warmer getting here. And this time, I'll be using the camera to take a ride on this wild horse adventure tour. So I will be using this camera, but I'm not going to be using this on my phone because if I drop this, then it's on me. So there'll be tons of horses around here across nice, uh, nice uh, safari, safari tour adventure trucks. There's three of them at least, but we don't know where we're going to be sitting at. So it's the same truck. Uh -huh. Can't go wrong with it in between those two or three, I meant. But definitely an uh, amazing drive to have to check it out already. And we're back here again to do more adventure tour. Same thing that we did on the Mohegan boat at the last video. I highly would recommend you click up over there on the I am calling info. Yeah, sometimes, definitely, of course, the the road on a Revolution Railroad. Yeah, definitely, we did that one here as well. I never done this one here before, but this is our time to take the to take the truck and do what we can. Oh, and Six Flags, I can't forget about that one. Yes, the drive-through safari. Maybe you should go check that one out as well. Pretty amazing. Of course, my parents are right over here, but um. Don't be surprised. It's time to get on this tour. Are you ready? Then let's get going. Got the green light for funds. Let's take you on a tour. It's one of two federal reserves. There's over 500 acres out there in the first one. And Route 12, right around the corner, is going to change up into an all-beach road. Still Route 12, still a state highway, but for the next nine miles, it'll be a beach road to the Virginia border. Here we go. Got Pelican Post uh, on the right, we as we call it. Into the thing. hundreds 
of them. And guess what kind of trees? Oh. Live oak. Oh. Yeah, you got it, man. You guys are too smart. Live oak are connected to each other at the root system. They're kind of like one big living tree. So when you see what looks like driftwood sticking up out of the beach, that's actually the ancient root system of, of that tree system. There's one sticking up right now here on the left. The rest of the harem is likely on the other side of the dune. It's not a real big harem. There's only a stallion, a bellissimo sister. I'm going to make a turnaround so you guys can get another shot there. Slum over that one. Well, there, as you can see right down there, that's is where they're, where the steering wheel and the cord has been already dropped out of here. I was hoping they would bring the mechanics here to, to fix this one. I don't know what they're gonna do with that one here, but it looks like it is already like left in here on this uh, on this beach site. Definitely uh, couldn't even tell because that happened once before when we passed the other vehicle. Getting it down. Well, looks like we're transferring to another vehicle, which we're moving in this new one well they say you can't help it when the vehicle's in motion that's what the that's what protection is all about power is one of the few that still survived that was here on the east coast that was used for spotting the german subs out here that building right behind us the original barrack There's actually a fourth one. This is mid. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm just going to go around behind to see if the horses are in the canal back there. And there's a number of bachelors that live here. That looks like one of them. And then over by that beige house, when I drive further up, there's three other horses on the other side there. I just saw them. Okay, so over here. Yep. There you go. Here's another one. Yeah, loners are always young because they've been recently uh, kicked out of their harems, basically. But you know they're young because their hinds are very narrow in the back and the shine on their coat as well. It's hard to see these over here. Well, yeah, their views are not always, uh, they don't always, you know, cooperate with giving us the best view. <laughs> but if I pull up, we might get a, we might be able to see them. Okay. All right, I'm gonna push it up. Yep, I always see the baby. <laughs> oh, perfect, okay.
just another sea turtle nest, but it's not going to be hatching for a while yet. All right, guys, right here in this brewing company. Um, very so sorry to guys uh, who could have uh, been on here. The same thing as I had. <laughs> a little bumping things around here in between here. But a lot, lots of accidents have been forgiven us here, like an accident or something had caused it with the, with the vehicle already been snapped by a steering wheel. I know it was, uh, it was very tough to, uh, to be honest with you. And be sure I will, um, I will keep it on the uh, lighthouse for a bit the next time i've been gonna save that for another video here so with that we'll make the deal work all right so that's gonna do here for the part of the horse uh, expedition of the adventure i know we currently stayed here for that long here on the beach but um it's very uh, often considerably a a worthy uh, unlucky time because um because the first truck it was already broken down already but now the second already came they have to replace a new one here and now they have to get it fixed here a lot of percentage off here is already like come and gone already but if it's not uh, if it's not uh broken down then we would be lucky enough to be seeing the whole thing but right now that kills our time it was the wasteful there man tough ones already found here found some uh, good horses here i'll be showing off the picture to you guys here at the end of the video before the outro message I'd like to thank you all here for watching for this video. And if you haven't checked yet, make sure you subscribe because that will be the next one to check out what we got over here. There's many other uh, choices that we can definitely do anytime we like. It's it's amazing, packful here. Just a good thing times roll out there. Anyways, peace out to everyone for a while as the wild horse adventure of the Outer Bank of the Corolla Dial. I'm sorry. Uh, that's the that's the name of the town of the of NC part of a Corolla. But that's all that's all it does count out here for. So anyways, thanks for joining us. I'll see you guys there next time. Bye folks. See you next time.